Lady Adevalo, publicist for Knott's Berry Park. Welcome to your first taste of this year's Knott's Boysenberry Festival. The 16-day festival kicks off this Saturday, March 19th, and continues through April 3rd. The festival celebrates the roots of Knott's Berry Farm, which go all the way back to December 1920, nearly a century ago, when Walter and Cordelia Knott first moved to this farmland and started their little family farm. A few years after, Walter Knott, in the early 1930s, found and nurtured back to help one of the last remaining boysenberry plants in the entire world. And the rest is history. Walter Knott started selling berries on a little roadside stand out in Beach Boulevard, and then Cordelia Knott soon followed with her famous fried chicken, boysenberry pies, boysenberry jams, jellies, and here we are today. The 16-day Food and Live Entertainment Festival celebrates the best of Knott's Berry Farm. It's going to feature over 70 uniquely delicious boysenberry dishes, drinks, desserts, and more. Many of those will be available uh, for you to taste tonight. Thank you, Brett. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to join us and to celebrate the kickoff of the Boysenberry Festival. So the great pairing with all the amazing dishes, as you can imagine, is our live entertainment. So as part of the Boysenberry Festival, Knott's Berry Farm offers an extensive lineup of live entertainment for the entire family from sun up to sun down. We start up with Peanuts Party in the Park, which is an all new show with a brand new soundtrack and many ways for kids to be a part of it. In addition, we also have Lucy's really big spring show in Camp Snoopy. We also have live bands all over Ghost Town to continue to just fill the air with magical and amazing music. And to end it all, we have Salsa Dancing in Fiesta Village and Jamming in the Dark, a nighttime dance party at Calico Square. So as you can imagine, we have amazing food paired with amazing entertainment. It's 16 days full of fun that you just cannot miss. So we invite all of you to come back out and share the experience with your families. Now it is my pleasure to introduce to you the culinary geniuses behind the 16-day Boysenberry Festival. Great. Okay, let's have some fun with this. Now. Okay, so we're, we're going to introduce we got Bobby, the executive chef. Hello, everybody. Bottle, the executive sous chef. Michael, executive sous chef. And, and John Chu, food and beverage director. This is our third event, right? That's correct. That's right. And our first event, I'll, I'll highlight some items. Our first event was. Boise Mary Butter. Was born here. That's right. Everything on the farm we create here. We're like mad scientists in the kitchen, and we're developing throughout the day, throughout the year. So, Boise Mary Barbecue Sauce. I think everywhere we walked in the park, they said, Where can I buy this? We weren't selling it yet, so we bottled it. That's right, we bottled it and we sold it um, to the consumer. Our second year? Fun bun. Fun bun. Does everybody know the fun bun? Did everybody have the fun bun? Come on. Cinnamon roll, dipped in our famous secret uh, batter, funnel cake batter, fried at 375 degrees, comes out, we smother it with boysenberry and cream cheese. It's unbelievable. So everybody's had that already. So for the third, <laughs> for the third this season, one of the highlight items we had the fun bun, and now we have the fun the stick. Fun stick. Who has not tried the fun stick? Okay, got tried. Okay, so it's, 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 it's phenomenal. Fun buns. It was it was great. This just takes another level. Once again, on the farm, everything we make from our bakery, cheesecake. It's already good, right? Put a stick in it. We freeze it a bit. Dip it into our batter again. Fun big batter, which is secret. And then from there, about 375, 380, it comes out, smothered again with boysenberry cream cheese, and it's, it's you gotta try it. Once you, once you take one bite, it tastes like more and more and more. You'll finish it. You say, I'll just take one, but I guarantee you, you'll finish it all. Boysenberry beer, we brought that in last year. It's coming back. Boysenberry wine. We also have um, our ace boysenberry, uh, no, it's not boysenberry, it's blackberry, Raspberry, it's missing the loganberry. It's great. Mix that, it's outside of, in the outside in the bar outside. Mix it half with uh, the hard cider, the other half with boysenberry beer. You're gonna love it. Okay? And then from there, we're gonna let the, the other chefs uh, talk about the, their items, what they're working on, some of the other items. But it's, it's I mean, it's fun. If you come to work here, it's fun. Because we're always creating, we're always creating, we're always developing, and we're in, uh, put a few pounds on, but that's, that comes with the job, I guess. But anyway. <laughs> So here's Bobby to speak a little bit. Hello guys, good, good afternoon. And I'm very, very glad to see you all. 
So I'm going to talk to you about the short bridge that we have. Uh, this is such a great item that, that we, we make it this year. It's a brownie item that I would love for you guys to taste it if you haven't yet. Uh, and what it is is we marinated our ribs over 12 hours in, in, in our own recipe marinade that we make. Once we do that, we pull it out and then we'll cook it in the bar, into the bar broiler. And then after that, we put it over steamed rice and then we split it with a little bit of berry barbecue sauce. Uh, that's that's that, that's an item that I'm very excited about. Another item that I'm very excited about is our pur pulled pork. Pulled pork is it's, it's, it's another great item that we have to get the pork, you know, over 12 hours so we can make it real nice and tender. Barbecue sauce, boysenberry bun, and, and coleslaw. You're gonna love it. If you, if you haven't tried it yet, yet, I know some of you guys already did it. I know you love it. You, that's what you told me. You, I see that you were enjoying it so much. Oh, our, our, uh, the boysenberry bread is made right here. I'm uh, so fortunate to have uh, uh, such a talented guys over in the bakery. They, they, last year, I challenged them. They, 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 they so talented, they, they know how to make amazing cakes and amazing products. So last year I said, you know what? We have a boysenberry fest coming up. Please give me something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to put it out there. And after so many tries, they come out to the perfect recipe. So we have it today. We will have it over for the Boys and Mary Fest. And thank you guys so much for being here. All right, uh, my name is Gibaldo. I'm the executive sous chef here in the company. And after the three or four years that we've been playing with the barbecue and the boys and berries and all this fun. So we, we, it's all about having fun in the kitchen as well in the park. Uh, since I'm involved with this amazing team here, the, we, we challenge our, ourselves to create some more new items or new uh, ways to introduce the, our boysenberries. And what a way to do some meatballs, chicken, boysenberry bun, uh, all different. Bobby was talking about some uh, breads that we make, a whole bunch of breads that we make with boysenberries. Hope you guys got a chance to try it and enjoy it. My name is uh, Michael Keto. I'm new to the family here to Osbury Farm, but I'm very excited to be a part of my first annual um, Boys and Berry Festival. I, um, I'm very excited about that panna cotta. It's a Boys and Berry fused panna cotta. It's a very delicious, smooth to the tongue. It does have a little crunch for diversity. Great. That's about it. So again, my name is John Chu, Director of Food and Beverage here at the park. I want to thank you all for coming out. We really appreciate your support and pushing all the great things that our chefs spend a, a full year, if not more, creating all these great recipes in the kitchen. I just want to remind everybody about two great products that we offer here during the Boysenberry Festival. We have a food tasting card. Is anybody familiar with the food tasting card? So this year we've changed up a bit. Some of the new items that we've added to it are the panna cotta, like uh, Chef Michael was explaining, available at the Ghost Town Bakery. Uh, we've also added the boysenberry meatballs to that. So we skewer these three great meatballs on a stick, marinate them in the boysenberry barbecue sauce, and then finish them off on the grill. We also have our wine tasting card, which will be featured here at the Wilderness Dance Hall. You get six different tastings. We have a great food pairings plate that comes along with it. And then you guys can uh, get a chance to try some of these great wines here. We have uh, dozens of wineries and over 50 different varieties of wine. So we really hope you enjoy that. Uh, check out the wineries and the vendors today because they have a lot of great new things they've brought out for this year. So thank you again. That's great. Thank you everybody for, uh, for attending and your partnership. I look around the room and I know many people from the last three years. So thank you for, uh, you know, thank you for, for enjoying our, uh, what we love to do every day. Thanks for enjoying that with us. So uh, give you applause too.